Okay. So, during the Grand Theft Auto series, there have been many good games and many bad games. I'm not going to review the first two games, but I will review Grand Theft Auto 3. It's going to be my first Grand Theft Auto review on the PC. So, the PC version is... The visuals aren't really that much better. But, they do have a few extra freaking, you know, textures and stuff. But it doesn't really that noticeable than the console counterparts. Control-wise, the console version is superior. But, for the PC, the game is kind of, um... Even if you were playing it either on a console or a PC, the game would still be eh. Okay. This game is the most praised Grand Theft Auto game by far. Uh, not really. San Andreas is the most praised one, but this is the most praised game GTA game that should be praised, is what I should say. So the game basically takes place in Liberty City, which is just New York City. Not that that's a problem. I like the overall feel of New York City because I live in it. But I think that the character has barely any development since there's no voice actor or anything. And it just feels bland at times. And the story just gets um more pointless as the time goes by. You kill the you basically kill your ex-girlfriend who shot you. Wow, that's such a plot twist. But then at the end of this game, there's an even more of a plot twist. Where you don't even know what happens, and then the, the screen goes black. A gunshot. So you have no idea what happened. But, I don't know, if you want my opinion... Like, what I really think happened at the end of the game is that Grand Theft Auto, uh, is that Claude shot his girlfriend. Why? Because, uh, I just think that Claude doesn't trust any more women, and he just decides to kill her. But, I don't know. That's just my opinion, but overall the game you could do... Not as much stuff as you could do in the other Grand Theft Auto games. Mainly San Andreas, GTA 4, and you know those other Grand Theft Auto games that have been released, like the episode packs on the GTA 4. But I don't know. I just think I think this game is like more 63% because the game is could be good, but it's just overshadowed by its terrible story. It's gameplay on the PC and it's just it's a bland game so when people say a game's a GTA clone it's really uh, it's really not because if a game's a good a GTA clone it's better than GTA 3 for the most part so thanks for watching my review Grand Theft Auto 3 I'll see you later Right here. Let's get off the street and find a change of clothes.